<sighs> Hello everybody, welcome to Kim Cross's Borders. <laughs> I'm a guest host and uh, if you can see us behind those beer bottles, we're gonna do a beer taste test because this young lady over here says that Berliner Kindl is her favorite beer and any other beer she tries against it, she says, yeah, it's good, but it's not as good as Berliner Kindle. And I always go, come on. Really? Berliner Kindle has emotion for me. <laughs> Probably emotion, yes, I would go with that. But when it comes down to the taste, when you're actually blindfolded, I don't think you can really taste the difference between beers. <laughs> taste that out. <laughs> this is basically us just like a spontaneous video of us really just recording our feud. Like a little argument that we mm -hmm. have. So we're, so we're just putting it to rest. Once and for all. Yes. And the loser has to. Oof, they really have to listen to something. <laughs> listen to something? Hmm. Here we go. But before we start the actual blind taste test, you get to try the beers. Like. Right. Um, so we're gonna um, start with not your favorite, but we're gonna start with this. Um, F is, uh, is that Turkish? Turkish beer, okay. yes, Turkish Pilsner. I'm basically a beer connoisseur, if y'all didn't know. <laughs> I know my beer. Okay, so F is, I think I will kind of remember F is because it smells a bit like marijuana. <laughs> then we're gonna go with a light beer, but it's still somewhat different, a Stammbuch X. Pot. And this is very popular, especially in Neukölln and Kreuzberg, it's a very hip beer. Used to not be as popular because it's a very cheap beer, but now a lot of hipsters drink it, so here we go. Okay, I think it's only fair though if I can write notes about how each one tastes to me. Fine to me. Okay, so Ephes Marijuana. Which one is this one? That was the... Sternberg? Sternberg. Sternberg. Crackers. <laughs> I like crack? I always, like, when I had it the other day too, I got this. Here, so I, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to taste this one out. I hope so. Because <laughs> <I'm> not. <laughs> it's gonna be really embarrassing. Yeah. So okay. I wanted to give you an easy point there. Okay, thank you. Max is actually, the plant wasn't actually for the beer. Okay, I'm just pouring it. We're gonna go on with your favorite. So it tastes smooth. <laughs> it tastes a bit like Miller Lite. <laughs> very smooth. Like a German Miller Lite. Sure, it tastes very smooth. <laughs> it does. <laughs> now we have uh, the Edeka home brand, Ratzkrona. Ratzkrona. So, I think this one is the one that I'll be scared about thinking it's Berlin or Kindle. You think? Yeah. I think a lot of these are going to be hard. So, these three right here, the Olsten, the Ephes, and the, Pil uh, the Ratzkorn and the Berlin or Kindle are all Pilsner beers. Then we have the Sternberg Export and the Berliner Kindle Bock, which is a dark beer. And last not but least, the best beer in the world, Holsten from Hamburg. And we say in Germany, Holsten Knacken Deutsch. Holsten Knacken Deutsch. <laughs> Can you see anything? Yes, clearly. I mean, you don't have one yet. Mm, no. Okay. So, Kimberly from Laporte, Texas. Kimberly Cross from Laporte, Texas. Bets that she can guess four out of six different kinds of beer <laughs> hey, brands. Hey, you didn't even right. ask me. 
What do I think I can what, guess? What, what do you bet? Three out of six. Three out of six, ladies and gentlemen. Das muss man sich einmal vorstellen. Yeah, my lieber. Low key, I think I can guess all of them, but I don't want to be that cocky. Why am I nervous? <laughs> <laughs> this is a cheap one. The rat something. What was the name of it? The, you mean the the Etika brand? The Arts Corner? Yeah. You think that's beer number one? Look at what I wrote on my descriptions. What I wrote Sparkly by. Um, yes. Yes. Yeah, this is a cheap one. I can taste the cheapness. All right. <clears throat> beer number dos. Which one did I write cracker by? Mm. Sternburg. I think. <laughs> I think this might be that one. Okay. You done with this? Yeah. So you think this is Holsten, you say, right? I think. Okay, let me just write that down for you. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? <laughs> oh, Max, am I wrong? Yeah. No, I'm just... <laughs> that was not a hint. That was not a hint, I'm just... One that is? Yeah, it's the Berliner dark one, whatever. It's Berliner and Bach. Mm -hmm. I just brought my confidence back up. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ephes. Ephes. No, oh, someone getting cocky. <laughs> <laughs> So, I'm not gonna lie, 
<laughs> Berliner Kindle and Holstein. I think I'm getting these two mixed up. This is it. It's not Holstein. <laughs> it's not Holstein. <laughs> Which one do you want? <laughs> the one that was on the far left, I think. No, that one you said was, that's the one on the far left. And I said, this is Berliner Kindle? Yes. <laughs> okay, but I'm done. I stuck <laughs> yes, with yes, my yes, answer. Yes, yes, Did yes. I fail this? Hang on a second. Let me just write it down. <laughs> All right. So you can take off your blindfolds. <laughs> oh, All that's right. right. <laughs> All right, you can take off your blindfolds. And first of all, I must congratulate you. I must really congratulate you. You got four out of six right. Really? Did you I got... know Berliner Kindle? No, I didn't! I found Berliner Kindle and Holstein mixed up, huh? You did get I knew it! Yeah. I knew it! Those taste very and similar. But though. you did compare your good old, good old Berliner Kindle to the cheapo one. You said that has the potential to be the cheapo one. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say kudos, props to you that you actually could taste a lot of the characteristics, characteristics out of the beers. Like, um, I knew that the Bach one was gonna be, that was gonna be very, very, simple, very easy, um, but with the other ones, I wasn't too sure. I really wasn't too sure. So congratulations, you did a good job. Thank you. Ciao, tschüss! <laughs> Bistin. Bistin. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because a lot of y'all are watching my channel, but not subscribing. An estimated I don't know. Like 25%, so. 25%, so. Please. If subscribe. you're one of those 25%. No, 75%. If you're one of those 75%. That's what, that would be really good, actually. But if you're one of those 75% that are not subscribed to her channel, better subscribe. So you so got. Three out of. Six. Yeah. You got three out of six. I tasted your favorite beer. I just beat you.